Let us understand how we can integrate JupyterLab and Postgres so that we can leverage the intuitive and interactive Jupyter-based environment to practice SQL. If you can take care of this integration, you should be able to use Jupyter environment as I'm demonstrating here to practice SQL. Using JupyterLab or Jupyter Notebook is optional. You can leverage SQL Workbench or PSQL to practice. However, using PSQL is a bit tricky and can take away a considerable amount of time. I will recommend IDEs such as SQL Workbench or environments like JupyterLab to actually practice uh, uh, SQL with either PostgreSQL or any other database. We need additional libraries to be set up as part of Jupyter environment for integrating notebooks with Postgres to write queries without writing any code. Before getting into setup, let us understand the prerequisites. You should have Python 3 installed. Also, you should have set up JupyterLab environment by now. If not, you can follow our playlist. It will take care of uh, providing you step-by-step -step instructions to set up JupyterLab on Ubuntu VM on GCP using Docker. You can review this playlist. It covers provisioning VM from GCP, set up Docker on top of it, set up JupyterLab, and also set up Postgres database. Even though it, GCP is used for the demonstration, if you have VM from uh, uh, AWS or Azure, you should be able to follow these instructions and set up lab for yourself, including JupyterLab as well as Postgres. Once JupyterLab is set up, we need to install the following to leverage Jupyter-based notebooks to practice SQL. You need to install a library called as IPython-SQL using pip within the virtual environment used to set up JupyterLab. So in our lab environment, if you follow the instructions to set up JupyterLab, we have created the virtual machine. We can leverage that virtual machine and we should be able to set up IPython-SQL. For that, let's activate the uh, virtual environment. The virtual environment is nothing but demo jail. So I can say source demo jail bin activate. It will take care of activating the virtual environment for us. You can see the virtual environment here. Now you should be able to set up this IPython hyphen SQL. We'll come back to it in a moment. You also need to install SQL Alchemy to facilitate the connectivity between Jupyter notebooks and the databases. However, it will be installed along with IPython-SQL. You can run piplist to validate whether SQL in Alchemy is installed or not. Also, we need to install PsychOpG2 to connect to Postgres database. If you do not have PsychOpG2, then you will not be able to connect to Postgres database using SQL Alchemy. SQL Alchemy is a wrapper uh, which can be leveraged using Python to connect to database and start developing something called as ORM classes. ORM stands for Object Relational Mapping. Don't worry too much about those things at this time. Also, we'll not be working on SQL Alchemy uh, 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 while practicing SQL. However, just to make sure that our Jupyter environment can connect to database, we need to take care of setting up this IPython-SQL, which includes SQL Alchemy, and also this library called as PsychOpG2. Without these libraries, you will not be able to execute SQL queries directly without writing Python code. If you are setting up Jupyter Lab on top of your Mac, you have to install PostgreSQL on your Mac. You can run this command. It will take care of installing PostgreSQL binaries. It will not start the PostgreSQL server. However, the binaries will be installed. Using Jupyter Lab along with these PostgreSQL binaries, you should be able to connect to Postgres that is running on Docker using this uh, library called as PsychOpG2 via your Jupyter-based environment. You will understand what I'm talking about in a moment. You need to run these four commands in this order on Mac. If you are using uh, Ubuntu, after running uh, this pip install command to install IPython SQL and validating uh, wh whether SQL Alchemy is installed or not by running this pip list, before running this uh, pip install PsychOpG2, you have to take care of running these commands to install PostgreSQL related binaries. Most likely, PostgreSQL common libraries should be good enough. If it fails, then we have to install PostgreSQL uh, uh, complete libraries. Let's uh, run these commands and we will see. So first, I'm actually running this command. For this, you need to ensure that you are connected to your uh, Ubuntu-based environment. I have connected to it using uh, the GCP. I just have to expand this. Once it is opened, then I can take it further. Now it is launched. First thing we need to do is we have to activate the virtual environment using which we set up JupyterLab environment. We can take care of it by running source demo gel and then bin activate like this. It will take care of uh, uh, activating the virtual environment in which JupyterLab related libraries are installed. 
After activating this, the next step is to install ipython-sql. Let me actually copy paste this command. This is what is supposed to be run. Now I can go to that page, then paste it. You can see that it is installing all the libraries related to ipython-sql. It includes SQL Alchemy also. You can validate by running piplist. You should see SQL Alchemy here. You can see SQL Alchemy is also installed. After this, if you try to run this, it will fail. If you are using Mac, you can run this first and then run this. It, it should work. If you are using Ubuntu based virtual machine or even Ubuntu based server, if you try to run this, it will fail. You can see that it is failing. We need to install the uh, OS level uh, binaries related to Postgres. That's why it is failing. Even if you try to install PsychOpg2 binary, then also it will fail. I just have to say binary like this. You can see that, oh, it is successfully installed. Okay, that's good. So we don't need to install the uh, Postgres SQL uh, on this server. We can directly say PsychOpg2 binary and it should work. I thought we have to run these commands. If at all psychop 2 binary is uh, failed, then you might have to install these things. Let me validate uh, whether we should be able to connect to Postgres running as part of the Docker container. For that, we need to ensure that the Postgres as part of the Docker container is running. We can actually run docker ps command first. So all the required libraries are installed as part of the JupyterLab environment to connect to Postgres database using Jupyter Notebook. Now we are going to validate. For that, first I am validating whether the Postgres database is running as part of the Docker container or not. I can say docker ps like this. You can see that nothing is running. We can run docker ps hyphen a to ensure that the Docker container which is running Postgres is there. Using that, we should be able to run this docker start. Then the container name, which is nothing but itv underscore pg. Now the container is started. You can run docker ps command and you can see that the docker container running Postgres is up now. Once it is up, you should be able to launch the JupyterLab environment using this command. Let me get into the web console. Let me paste this and hit enter. Now the Jupyter uh, lab should uh, uh, come up. Now we can actually take the IP address from the Google co console. If you set up on your Mac, uh, the Jupyter will open automatically. You don't need to do this uh, process of launching the browser and copying the IP address. It should work seamlessly. As it is running on remote server, it will not be able to open the uh, Jupyter-based uh, URL using browser directly. For that reason, we have to paste this IP address and then colon 8888 is the port number. Now we are actually connecting to the Jupyter-based environment uh, using the browser and Jupyter environment is actually running on the Ubuntu-based VM which is provisioned from GCP. Now we should be able to follow these instructions to actually validate. First we have to load SQL magic. For that, we have to create a new notebook. So in this case, I am saying file new notebook. Let me rename this. I can right click on this and then say rename. Validate Postgres connectivity. This is the notebook name. We can actually load the SQL extension. It is loaded successfully. Now we should be able to create this environment variable. However, this uh, information has to be accurate. Already we have set up a retail database as part of the uh, Postgres that is running as part of the Docker container using these credentials. You can follow the earlier videos and you should be able to understand. Now let me create this environment variable. Once it is created, we should be able to validate by saying percentage SQL select current underscore date like this. I think we don't need to specify the circular brackets. Now you can see the output, which means using Jupyter based environment, we are able to connect to Postgres database and run queries uh, without writing any Python code. Now you should be able to practice all my content related to mastering SQL using Postgres using Jupyter based environment. 
Keep in mind that setting up Jupyter based environment is optional. Either you can use SQL Workbench or Jupyter based environment to connect to the database and run the SQL queries. Whatever is comfortable with you, you can follow that approach. I use Jupyter based environment because it actually facilitates me to create the content and queries together. Uh, and hence, I'm using Jupyter based environment. As part of the projects, we typically use SQL Workbench. For learning purpose, you can leverage the Jupyter based environment if you set up in this manner or you can also use SQL Workbench, whatever is convenient to you. But I'll be publishing content using Jupyter based environment. I would highly recommend you to get comfortable with SQL Workbench as well in parallel so that you can use it a lot more productively as part of the projects. So learning using Jupyter based environments have its own advantages. However, you should be comfortable with SQL Workbench also. The reason why I am using Jupyter based environment is even Python related stuff will be provided using Jupyter based environment. Jupyter based environment will provide you seamless learning experience. That's why I am using Jupyter based environment and I have demonstrated how to set up the Jupyter based environment not only to practice Python but also to connect to the databases and practice. So feel free to use this approach or SQL workbench. Either is fine uh, to, to actually learn. That being said, if you have any issues, feel free to reach out to us. We will be there to support you.